All right. Hi, everyone. Um, I'd just like to start out with the land acknowledgement. I, I did one of these in Vancouver, and a few people asked me, you know, it, it, is, is, is that it? Is, 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 you know, just say, say these few words that make up for everything. Well, um, so I didn't know a huge amount about it at the time, but uh, my wife took a job in Indigenous relations um, in, in Canada um, this last year, and so I've, I've come to learn a lot more about it. And um, what they want from our governments is, is, is uh, a lot more than this. But from us, um, they, the, anyone who tells you all Indigenous people want is... Um, <laughs> making a type error. Um, there's, uh, uh, pe people want different things, but in general, um, they, they, they would like to be acknowledged as the traditional custodians of the land and uh, an acknowledgement that uh, we're, we're gathering here kind of by their good graces. Um, legal blah blah, don't care. All right, <clears throat> so I wanted to remind everyone where we are now. Um, this is a folio. It's in the Union Struck Page, but otherwise it contains very much the same things that Struck Page used to contain. Um, this, this, this is step one. We are converting things over to using folios instead of pages. And this, this is in aid of a few different things which we'll be going into. Initially, it was supporting, it, it was a type safe way to support large pages, but it's, it's becoming so much more. And we really have an ambiguous situation right now. And people ask me, so what exactly is a folio? I'm like, well, that depends. Right now, a folio is just the first page of, of a traditional large page, of a compound page, of what, whatever terminology you're used to. But we're going for so much more. This is, this, is, this, is, this, is, this is the end of, of, of phase two, where we shrink struct page to be eight bytes. So from our current 64 bytes, we shrink down to eight bytes. And this makes everybody happier, right? We, uh, for, for, for the people who are using um, large um, virtual machine setups, we, the, the amount of memory we spend on memmap, this, this, this huge array of, of struct pages, is, is compounded because we not only have it in the host, we also have it in each guest. And various um, virtual machine providers have hacks to work around and to, to not do that. Um, but this lets us do it a bit more cleanly. I mean, it, it shrinks us from occupying 1.6% of memory, doubled if we're using virtual machines, so 3.2% of memory, uh, down to using just 0.2% of memory, right? That's, that, that's, that's a huge amount. I mean, that, that's, that can be gigabytes of memory. That can allow providers to sell more virtual machines per physical machine, and um, that makes everything better. Of course, we can't just shrink struct page down to eight bytes, right? We, we, we have to then do something with those eight bytes so that we get to keep the rest of you know, all the information that we, that we still have. And actually, we have to put a little bit more into it. Um, so we'll, we'll do things, you know, we'll, we'll add all these extra bits. Um, John Hubbard is, I'm sure, going to be delighted to know that we get, finally get a pin count for every single page. And we, don't, we can get away from the, the stupid hack we have where, you know, we, we're using extra bits in, in the ref count in order to um, keep track of how many times something is pinned. And so we can only tell whether something's probably pinned or whether it's you know, actually pinned. Anyway, we'll, we'll get all of that. But this, this does grow it slightly. But then the trade-off is that we only allocate one of these per allocation. So if, you're doing, if you do an order two allocation, uh, if you do an order one allocation, it pretty much balances out. If you're doing an order two allocation, we end up allocating less memory overall. Uh, so we'll, we'll shrink from allocating perhaps... Uh, if, 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 you, if you're doing a, a one gigabyte file today, if, if you're caching the entirety of a one gigabyte file, uh, we, we, we take about 16 megabytes of memory just in struct page. So, you know, right, 16 megabytes, 1.6% of one gigabyte. With, with this, it will sh if, if, if you do it in order zero, 
that will actually grow, right? When we transition to this, it will grow. You'll take about 23 megabytes to do it. But if you use order two folios, it'll shrink. We'll be down to less than nine megabytes of memory in terms of pages and folios to, to cache all of that. So, so that, that's the win we're looking for. Um, the other win we're looking for is that we'll finally have a type that you can look at a struct page and say, I know what this struct page is being used for. And that's the bottom few bits of memdesk. And so it, we, we won't just have folio, you know, we've already got slab slip split out. Uh, and just recently we had PT desk split out. Thank you, Vishal. Um, and Vishal's going to be doing a lightning talk later, right? On how to do a memdesk. You agreed to that, didn't you? He's nodding, he's nodding, yeah, he's, he's enthusiastic about doing this. Um, so uh, again, um, so I've, I've highlighted in bold the, the, the one thing that we're going to add to it, but PT Desk is actually going to be smaller than Folio, and it's not going to have things like a ref count or a map count, because you can't map these things into user space. Uh, I think it does still have a memcg, but perhaps we can get away from ha having it just be this, this unsigned long and actually you know, give it a proper type and a proper pointer. Um, TBD, I haven't looked into that in enough detail to state for sure that's what we're going to be doing with it. Um, but here's the progress we've made. Um, it's pretty good. Uh, we, we now have a lot, this is, this, this is a very stupid um, metric. This is just how many times do we mention struct page, how many times do we mention struct folio, also struct slab and struct PT desk up at the top. You, you, you can see where we delete the slab allocator because the number of <laughs> mentions of struct slab like halves, which is great. Good job. Um, but yeah, we've got about 10,000 uh, places where we say, hey, there's, there's a type here of struct page or struct folio. Um, but the proportion of it that's been uh, struck page has, has shrunk fairly dramatically over the last few years, uh, which is really nice to see. And some people are asking, okay, so you know, what, 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 what's our end goal? Like, is, is it to get the red bar all the way to the bottom? And the answer is no. We really don't want to get rid of all the struck pages in the kernel because it's, it's still a type that has use. Um, it's, it's the size you map into user space. It's the size you, you, you do a whole bunch of things with pages that aren't necessarily folios. So as the track leads were saying earlier, we've, we've made a lot of improvements since last year. Um, we've done folio conversions all over the place. And this has not all been me, which has been fantastic. A lot of, a lot of other people have spent a huge amount of time um, doing Convert, folio conversions all over the place, um, which has been absolutely fantastic. Uh, something I forgot to put on this slide is that we finally have a reliable way of knowing whether a folio belongs to huge TLBFS or not. Um, it, 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 has always, it has been, if, if you don't hold various locks, it has been racy to ask whether this folio belongs to uh, huge TLBFS, or this page belongs to huge TLBFS. Um, and it is now reliable. And if you're not holding, if you're not holding a ref count or a lock, uh, it is possible that it might be stale, but it, but it will no longer be the case that you could, uh, the, 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 it will say, yes, this does belong to huge TLBFS when the uh, page has never belonged to huge TLBFS. And that could happen before because there, there were various um, races, well, not, not even races, well, yeah, races that could happen that would lead to it being misidentified um, when those bits were being used for other purposes. And we don't have that anymore. It is now 100% reliable. As I said, maybe stale, but the, 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 the code which is doing all these kinds of things locklessly is prepared for this information to be stale. It wasn't prepared for this information to be outright wrong. Um, and that, that, that was something, you know, I, I added a, some assertions and those assertions started tripping and then we started looking, digging deeper into, okay, why are those assertions tripping? And then we realized, oh yeah, this, this, this was actually wrong um, ever since HUGE TLBFS was introduced. So that was fun. 
probably not too bad a consequence. It was just some inefficiencies, but it, it was um, startling. But I think the big MM improvement has, has been the work that has been done to support large anonymous folios or uh, anonymous MTHP. Um, pe people have forgotten that THP is an acronym that has the word huge in it, and so, so now we have multiple size, huge, transparent pages. Anyway, na naming is hard. <laughs> um, yeah, we, we've, we've, we've done a lot of work in, in the MM. And we've also done a lot of work in, in the VFS. So um, Dave Howells has done work to remove uh, the send page operation, and that may, mostly benefits the network file systems. We've got large folio support in FS Verity. We've done a lot of conversions in the buffer cache to folio. And actually, that, 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 that was, um, I, 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 I made a mistake there. I, 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 said, I said, OK, buffer heads. Buffer heads are always attached to folios. And then I found out about ext4. ext4 allocates memory from slab and attaches a buffer head to that. And so everything I said about folios being a little bit ambiguous uh, is, is going to very much come back to bite me uh, when, when, when we do that step, because uh, buffer heads are now attached to a folio, but ext4 has them attached to a slab, and those are different types, and I've, I've, got, I've made a huge problem for myself there. Um, if I'd, if I'd realized I, wasn't, I wouldn't have done the whole thing, but having done it, I didn't want to back it out either. This is just something that I'm going to have to be very, very careful of when, when we get to that point. And so I'm kind of making a point of talking about it, and I've written it down in a few different places, that um, it, I mean, what ext 4 is doing isn't wrong. I'm just about to make it wrong. Um, and you know, I've, I've, I've tripped myself up on my own ambiguity about what a folio actually is. So, you know, don't, don't make the same mistake I may say, oh, we will now convert everything in the block layer over to folios because the block layer does need to be able to do I.O. to things which are not folios. Like, it needs to be able to do them to slab pages. Uh, to, yeah, to pages allocated from slab. So, we need, some things need to be left as struct page. And buffer heads is something that I should have left a struct page, it turned out. Um, but that's not to say that the APIs in the buffer cache shouldn't be folio-based, uh, because it turns out uh, there's a lot of stuff that the buffer cache assumes is attached to um, a, a folio, a real-life folio and, and not this slab memory. And exe4 is very careful not to call any of those functions. Like we, we, it, it doesn't do the things that will cause the up-to-date bit to be set on a, on a slab, which is a good thing because everything would fall apart if we did. But there's, there's, there's actually nothing preventing it from doing that. There's no, the, the compiler won't warn you. There's no type information that will say, oh yeah, this, this, this is actually wrong. It's just exe4 is very careful because Ted knows what he's doing. And it, it's Again, there is no bug, it, it, it just scares me, and it, it, it should scare me. <clears throat> um, one, of the, one of the big improvements that we have over last year is that we now allocate large folios in the right path. So if, if, you, if you do a 256 kilobyte write, we will alloc and it's aligned to 256 kilobyte, we will allocate a 256 kilobyte folio, and they will manage that folio as a single entity. It will go onto the LRU as a single entity, it will be written back as, as, as a single entity, and it will finally be freed as a single en entity. And that gives us a huge amount of additional performance um, because you know, we, we, we hold the LRU lock for less long, we do fewer trips into the page allocator. Um, I mean, we, we do a very expensive trip into the page allocator to say, please allocate me a 256 kilobyte folio. Um, but it, the, the, the trade-offs are definitely worth it. Um, for the file system people, I added this new function called folio end read, uh, which, which is, 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 is a really cute hack. It is, on x86, at least, it is a single instruction which sets the up-to-date bit, it clears the lock bit, it checks the uh, waiter bit, 
and it is a memory barrier. So it's one instruction doing four different things, which is <laughs> it's, it's good value for money. Um, but more seriously, it actually gets file systems away from having to know, hey, the page cache has an up-to-date bit. Um, of, of, of a file system which is fully converted doesn't actually check or set the up-to-date bit all by itself. It's all hidden behind this folio end read. Oh, and folio end read takes a boolean, so it doesn't actually necessarily set the up-to-date bit. If, if there's an error um, on doing the read, then we don't set the up-to-date bit. So it's, it's a conditional up-to-date bit set. Anyway, as I said, it's a single instruction, which is really nice. Uh, I've also added some convenience functions, uh, folio fill tail and folio zero tail. These are really for file systems which do, each file system has its own term, uh, stuffing, tail, um, uh, fragment, fragments. Basically, the, if, 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 um, if you can store like the tail of a file in the, I, in the little bit of extra space in the inode and you stick it in there and then when it comes to put it into the page cache, you mem copy it out of the struct inode and put it into the, the page cache. These functions are for you. Um, I, I think there might be one file system left over that hasn't been converted to use these yet. Um, but it's, it's just an, a nice bit of extra work that, you know, it handles large folios for you, so you don't have to think about that. Um, you know, there's, there's, there's some loops in there if you're not on um, a 64-bit machine. So you just don't, file systems just don't have to care anymore about all of that. And, and that's kind of what I'm trying to do, is just make file systems easier to write. Um, yeah, just more conversions, removal of old uh, functions we don't need anymore. Right back. Right back's getting exciting. Uh, between Christoph Helwig and I, we have done, a, we've now turned right back into being an iterator instead of being this callback function, call a function that calls you back kind of thing. It's now just an iterator, so, you know, we're, we're, we're getting some of our Spectre uh, performance back. Um, yeah, remove more dirty, more, more old functions that we don't really call anymore. We have done a shed load of folio conversions. That's, that, that's a lot of file systems that we have fixed over the last year. Uh, they're, they're not all necessarily completely done. Um, you know, so, sometimes it's just, sometimes we've just done the di directory handling. Sometimes we've done everything except the directory handling. Uh, it, it's just been a question of what, you know, what, what, what have various people chosen uh, to work on. Um, we've, we've started migrating away from right page. Um, I, I, I never did do a folio version of right page because I talked to various file system people and they're like, oh, let's just get rid of right page altogether. It's, it's, it's hurting us. Um, the, 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 if right page is ever called, it is, it is only going to do more damage than not calling it. Um, so, you know, right page is scheduled for removal. Um, it hasn't, we, we're not quite done with that removal yet, but we, we've made a lot of progress towards removing it. BcacheFS supports large folios. This is fantastic. Um, we, we, we only have a few file systems which support large folios, but uh, BcacheFS is one of them, and that's great. Um, we deleted NTFS, and the crowd went wild. Uh, we, we, Dave Howells did a lot more work with network file systems. He added uh, NetFS, the NetFS layer, which is kind of like IO map, but for network file systems. Um, and he's converted at least three file systems to use it, and I think there's a few more in the works. So I thought I'd do a little diagram. Turns out we have 51 file systems in tree right now which use the page cache. And if you, the, they're alphabetical in three columns. Uh, if you can find your file system and you see a red box next to it, you have work to do. Um, XFS is green. Your file system could be green too. <laughs> you can see we're actually pretty close to getting rid of right page. We've got, what, less than 10 to go. Um, we're working on it. Right, I've, I've submitted a few patches. I've got a few more in my tree ready to submit. I screwed up the GFS2 one, um, so that didn't go in. Um, that's on me to figure it out and, and resubmit it for next merge window. 
Uh, some of these are actually quite easy. Um, others are much harder. Um, so yeah, BH is, are you still using buffer heads? Page is, are you still using struct page? Large is, do you support large folios yet? And WRP, WRPG, are you still using write page? Um, yeah, if, 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 if you want to talk to me about your file system, I'm busy most of today, but you know, talk to me about it, talk to me about it tomorrow. Um, I've submitted patches for some of these file systems, and, and, and mostly file system maintainers have been great about accepting those patches and fixing my bugs and getting things merged. But I want to talk about what I'm up to this year. And so as part of the progress towards getting rid of everything from struct page except memdesk, I decided I want to get rid of, of, of the mapping and index uh, entries this year. So, I mean, obviously, we still need to leave space in struct page for them because um, they struct folio is an overlay on struct page. They occupy the same bytes, and so we can still do the, the, the casting backwards and forwards between struct page and struct folio. Um, but what I want to be able to avoid is somebody doing page arrow mapping, right, or page arrow index. And partly I want to do that because right now we actually poison the mapping, um, and we don't, we don't poison the index, but if, if you if you refer to page mapping or page index on a tail page, you get garbage. Um, most file system people don't know this because they don't allow large folios. Um, so they, and they only ever see their own pages. So there's, there's no, you know, for, 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 for file systems doing tree, it, it, it doesn't matter. They, they don't, um, they don't ever allocate compound pages, they're not allocated for them, they never see compound pages, so it, it, it happens to work. But other, there, are, there are other parts of the file system, other parts of the kernel than individual file systems, and some of those places are, are referencing page mapping, and I'm taking a look at them and thinking, yeah, that probably works, but you know, maybe this just hasn't been exposed to uh, a large folio yet and perhaps they will be in the future, and I don't want to, that to become a bug. Um, it, it's pretty straightforward if someone's dereferenced the poisoned uh, page mapping, but if somebody's dereferenced page index, it, it's, it's kind of garbage, because uh, it's, it's in a union with some other stuff, and, and, and those, those bits are being reused for other things. So it's, it's kind of a pain. So yeah, my goal for 2024, like I say, remove page mapping, page index. I want to get rid of some of the um, the capital, the camel case macros that access the various bits, that are in, the various flags that are in struct page. Because uh, these flags really aren't page flags, they're folio flags. Like we don't track dirtiness on a per page basis, we track it on the entire folio. Um, ditto the other things. Um, yeah, I mean, really, I just went through my to-do list. Uh, one, one of our big things that needs, one of the few places in the address space operations which still takes the struct page, which is not currently scheduled for demolition, is right begin and right end. And Christoph Helwig and I have been working on various schemes that will uh, replace the address space operation, right begin and right end operations. Um, I don't have a solid proposal right now. I had, I had a proposal, Christoph pointed out all the, all the problems with it, and I haven't got back to it because, you know, busy with other things. Um, yeah, just a whole bunch of finish, finish the transitions, right? Get, get rid of these old um, APIs and make sure everyone's converted over to using the new APIs. So these are all the things I intend to work on. The, I, I, I really can't emphasize enough how happy I am that other people have been working on anonymous memory. Um, I, I, I was, we've, we've got such a huge performance win out of it, and um, it's been really nice to see people from these different companies collaborating. Like, I got ARM and Intel collaborating on a chipset. What? <laughs> That's amazing. Um, there's still a bunch of file systems. We have some pseudo-maintained file systems that aren't really keeping up with 
everything that's going on, as, as you saw from all the red boxes on that previous slide. Um, there's some huge PTOB modernization to do, and people are starting to work on that. Uh, I think we'll be talking more about the Shemem TempFS support for non-PMD large folios, so something's intermediate between an order zero and an order nine page. Um, I want to get rid of GFP comp. I, or rather, I want to get rid of non-compound high order allocations. I think crypto is our biggest offender right now for, for just saying, yeah, give me a bunch of pages and I will track each of them individually. Um, but we, have, we do have a few others. So yeah, I just want to make all high order allocations, compound allocations. Um, the FIRE project has been on hold for a couple of years. I, I talked about it a bit, and Jason did some work on it, and it's kind of in hibernation right now. So that, that's a project I'd like to see uh, revived, because that, that will, the FIRE project is what I think needs to happen to the block layer. The block layer needs to stop operating on pages. It does not want to start operating on folios. It should be operating on physical ranges, because then we don't need a mem map that covers all of memory. And that's going to be a huge saving for uh, virtualization, as well as for the CXL people, because then you know, a machine doesn't need to allocate a memory map for every piece of CXL, even if that CXL is you know, not going to be um, treated by the kernel. Um, K huge pay D needs some work, and I'm not looking forward to doing that work, work myself, and I kind of hope somebody else does that. That would be really nice. Thank you. Um, ZS malloc, per CPU, page pool, the, the, these all need to be pulled. The, these all use bits of struct page right now. Those all need to be pulled out and turned into their own mem desks. Um, ZS malloc, there's patches for, uh, which have been outstanding for a while, and the, the, those need to be uh, picked up and, and uh, finished up. I haven't even begun to think about KMSAN. I don't understand what KMSAN is doing yet. I haven't looked into it in enough detail. But right now, they, they put some extra bits, conditionally compiled bits, into struct page. And we need to figure out, like, is, is that actually per page data, or is it really per allocation data, in which case it should be allocated at um, a, a, a page time. And more fo file systems need to support large folios. This is important. This is what I want the file system people to take away from this, which is that I, I used these numbers earlier. Um, the memory overhead is going to start increasing, and this is probably going to happen in the next couple of years. So I would really like file systems to take on board that they need to switch to using large folios. Um, Large folios have a system-wide benefit uh, in that they reduce the length of the LRU list, and for some workloads, the LRU list is really, really long, and the LRU lock is held for a very long time. David. Um, could we allocate different folio sizes for smaller and larger ones? regarding the first point, the 46 to 88, because a lot of data we might not need, and maybe we might have to add some more for large folios or larger folios. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't get into that level of detail, but I do intend to have two different allocation sizes, one for order zero folios, which is still going to be larger than 64 bytes, and then a slightly larger one, you know, maybe add an extra 16 or, or, or 24 bytes for, uh, sorry, 16 or 32 bytes for, for order one and above. Okay, perfect. So maybe we might need yet another one, but that's then details. We, we, can, okay. we can talk about that later. Yeah, details, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Um, one of the things is that it is more efficient to map multiple pages from a single folio. Uh, oh, sorry, Ted, I didn't, I didn't see you one. Uh, just one quick question. When you talk about large folios, uh, when you talk about, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. about large folios, folios being important, is that for the mainline file systems? How important is this for, say, VFAT? Um, what's your goal? Everything or just the big five, however many mainline file systems you, we think there are? 
I, I, I would say for any file system that we care about performance, like if, if ISO 9660 never gets large folio support, I do not think there's a single person in the world who will care. <laughs> and if they do, they can do the work. Yeah. I'm not planning. So when I've been doing folio conversions in file systems, I haven't been doing the large folio work because that is, it's a lot more work to do. It really needs testing. Um, and I don't trust myself to do a good job of it for somebody else's file system. I did the work for XFS. I know how hard it is. I don't want to do it again. Yes, Dave. Dave is expressing the opinion that if it works on an NVMe SSD, then it should be converted to large folios. And uh, I don't think I disagree with you. I, I think that's a very, very valid point. Yeah, like if it's your root file, if you do a kernel compile, like kernel compiles go down by like 5%, right? They, 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 well, they get 5% faster, right? Um, uh, you know, if, if you don't care about performance, don't convert to large folios. Um, yeah, so uh, one, one of the things that landed in the last year is that we now map multiple, if, if, if you mmap a file, we now, and then you take a page fault on it, we now map every single page in that folio as a single operation. And this, this, this can be uh, particularly good on some hardware, like some hardware's optimization slash, but it's good for, even, even, even if you're running on an Intel system that doesn't support any special stuff in its TLB, it's, it's still more efficient in software. Um, we need large folios to support block size, size, and page size. We need large folios for atomic writes through the page cache. And then if we start to get to really high orders, we, we, we get to other, thing, other efficiencies. But yeah. So uh, two slides left. This one, uh, these are all on the schedule. Um, if, you know, if, if any of these attract your attention, this is all folio related. Um, and I wanted to thank a whole raft of people, um, and I, I know this, I, I've, I've missed people, right? but I've, I've had help, so many people have worked on this, and I, I want to thank all of you who have, uh, whether you've been reviewing my patches, or writing patches yourself, or you know, just offering um, advice. Thank you. <laughs>